Listening to Mel Robbins and Lisa Bill, you talk about confident things. My closet broke. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I make music. I laugh at everything except when I'm crying. Uh, life's a trip. Want to ride? You can see right now, the pole fell. The pole fell. And as you can also see, this thing is real bent. So I'm having to do a little um, DIY um, restructuring. So all, all of my clothing. I mean, it's a pile. I mean, the floor is right here. It's just, it's huge. It's like three, four feet of, three, four, so dramatic. It's a foot and a half of clothing. <laughs> Listening to Lisa Bilyeu and Mel Robbins do what they do. It lets in any signals that your partner is interested in having sex with either you or someone else. Ooh. Chris, stop looking at that person, <laughs> right? Any shways. So cleaning out my closet, I found a bottle of hand sanitizer in a pocket. I also found these two pins, which I love, on my high school speech and debate jacket. I think I put them on there when I bought them. Um, but also part of why I'm so, un I'm so, you know, un you know, I'm, d I'm just myself. I'm just gonna wear this for the day. That's what I'm asking. And also, I used to be really, really intense about the food I ate. My transition really changed the way I ate and I started eating more comfort food and more, more fats and more salts, more things like that, and more proteins in the last couple of years, which has kind of transitioned to like a high fat, high protein diet. But then when I'm like, so I'm eating a lot of fats and proteins and then when I'm like, miserable or something or on the weekends i'll have a bunch of salt it's friday i had salt last night and the night before middle of the week terrible ideas yesterday i had diarrhea all day today i have diarrhea all day <laughs> no more eating junk food just water i mean i used to eat kale and cauliflower and tomatoes and every day of my, and cashews and oh I would make homemade pasta. Oh my God, I'll make that tonight. That sounds like so much fun. Just raw pasta, I've done that in. Tony moved in a year ago and then just destroyed my whole little life. And I'm finally rebuilding it, but with a stronger voice and cleaning out my closet's fun because I'm realizing I have an aesthetic. I have a very specific aesthetic. And um, for a long time, you know, I was a boy and I had all these, you know, colored thing of oh, this blue so much blue i don't wear blue i don't i don't even know why i have so much blue oh you know what this is yeah, this is from my childhood this is actually something i'm not familiar with this is this, the, this is the, the shirt my father would have worn as a baseball coach when i was in t-ball or whatever that baseball thing was so we'll be keeping that i'm trying to keep the sentimental things and then the pieces i actually wear consistently because there's so many things I'm not wearing. I mean, like, I remember the last time I put this on and I took it right back off because it was uncomfortable, but look how cute this is, right? It's just not, I just, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not keeping, I'm not keeping all of this clothing. I mean, it broke my closet. It's like, though, it's so metaphoric. Like, you take on all these responsibilities until you break. Do I need all of this? No. Clean house, get rid of this. I don't need all of this, like, why weigh myself down with things that don't serve me, you know? Also, this was my dad's fire captain shirt. Um, so I'm glad I got these before we had a falling out, you know? <laughs> like, you can just keep these and remember the, the beautiful parts of him being very outgoing and being, you know, a, a leader and being a, a friend to his, his friends and showing up for his community. You know, he was always really good at that. My dad's alive. We just had a falling out. I want to make that very clear. He's not dead. Um, so, yeah. But like, look at this. Like, why would I keep in my, like, look at this dress. This fits my body like a glove. You know, this dress is perfection. Perfection. I wore it on a night out with my best friend and I felt so beautiful. Probably one of the happiest memories I've had in 2021 with her on that night out. So like, why would I keep all of these old, baggy t-shirts and, and this blue sweater. I'm like, I don't wear a blue sweater. And I have all these other t-shirts and these sweaters. I'm like, why am I always covering my, like, I don't cover my body. I wear nothing. I'm not, why am I keeping those? And yes, it's almost winter. I get it. So I kept, I have a couple sweaters there. Gray. And then I have a cardigan. And I'm going to keep. Now, it's obviously, it's very short on me. Well, the arms are short. 
Oh, I'm keeping this one too. But like, what's wrong with this guy? Detective Benson, here to kick some ass and take some names. Um, and then the blue one, I, I just love this. It's from Banana Republic. Um, and it's really, it's really thin. It's a light jacket for April 21st because you just need a light jacket. Is this April, what was that, was that the day? April 15th or something? Would you want to see the keeps? I just love, I love mini dresses, which you all already know. So let's look at all the colorful ones. I never used to wear color. Look at all the blue over there. Now I have this. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, now we have black things. Oh, this is a black sweater dress. This one, I already saw her. Oh my God, this Stevie Nicks is hell. Oh my God, so perfect. Mm. All right, it's almost four. I'm listening to Rachel Hollis and on Jay Shetty's podcast or something. We had a two hour conversation about stuff. Um, I have pulled everything out of the closet. There's nothing in the closet anymore except for the bookshelf, which we're gonna pull out pretty quick. Because I think I have decided to move my bedroom into here, my bed. And I'm gonna sleep in here and have out here be a living workspace. I'm having a lot of trouble staying motivated all day and I keep napping every day. I'll probably take one today, because I'm stoned. And I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to change my marijuana intake. I'm trying to change my work habits. I'm trying to work a lot harder. I'm having a hard time doing it, and part of it is my bed is right here. I'm staring at my bed all the time. I can go back to bed at any time, so I'm putting it in there. I also, I'm gonna film a, I'm not gonna talk about it anyways. I've just got a lot of things to film, so I need more visual space to be able to film something and if I move my bed in there that'll be out of the way and I can kind of my fear is I'll have a closet now right here but so the next step tomorrow I'll have money in my bank account and I'm gonna go to uh Lowe's and get some plywood build some shelves so I'm gonna put shelves put the bed down and now I'm just gonna put shelving right up here if I one right there this one's super busted so either get some things to hold just some support system to hold it up or shit, get a new one but i don't want to spend much money so hopefully i'll just buy a support thing for it and uh, whatever that's called um ooh, ooh, an elbow or something um yeah and then um i don't know that i'm gonna keep all of this in here but i'll probably take this out and this this first pad out and put them out there somewhere but i'll keep the rest in there because it's super quiet and i'm realizing that i like sleeping in silence. I like when I wear earplugs every night. I like the quiet. I like it when it's really dark in here. I make it as dark as possible to sleep. Otherwise, I wake up every 30, 60 minutes when there's light. So make changes. You want changes? Make changes. You want your life to be different? Make it different. It is empty. I'm listening to Jay Shetty and Rachel Hollis, just so you know who's talking behind me. Um, yeah, I'm about to move this out now, and I'm gonna put it right there next to the door. I just kind of moved this and we assorted all my shit and clothing. All of my clothing, uh, clothing hangers. Uh, this is going out, and um, I'm gonna debate the rest of this because I need to throw more away. Singing warm ups. Got this guy back up. She's nice and straight. Um, and then I fastened it in with some screws. Vacuumed everything down here. I'm watching MSNBC updates from the day or the last couple of days. I want to show you a little bit. Um, so all the stuff is kind of mostly put away. Um, my bed is now in the closet, which I should turn this light on, but I put these little purple lights up because I love them. Love them. Uh, let me turn the other light on though really quick so you can see it. There's the light, okay. All right, so we have 
the closet. Da, 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 da. The door. Lots of pink velvet. Lots of pink velvet. Put this little guy here because I wanted it. Uh, yeah, and then we have all the clothing reorganized, so everyone's color coordinated again. Um, all my sweaters are up there. All my skirts are right there. Madonna and Rihanna are back there, but trust, they're gonna get hung up. I think one of them's gonna go right there, and the other one right there. I just haven't decided yet, and I still. So the other thing is tomorrow, I'm gonna go buy some of these little things. Uh, these, these things that hold things up. Oh, shit, I put that up. Because um, I'm gonna put shelves in here. So I'm gonna go up here, right above this stuff, and um, put a shelf right up here so that I can put the rest of all of the stuff that, and here's the shelf, here's my shelf. There's a little one right here, we'll put it on the other side. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put shelves up so I can put anything extra up there. There's still some stuff around that I'd like to have in there and not out here. So yeah, cleaning, I love cleaning. It just, I can't, I just love pacing through my apartment and look, she's so stressed. She's like, what happened? Everything's different, I don't know what to do. She's just like me. Seriously, best decision I ever made. Oh, yep, I'm so pleased. I'm never coming out. Bye, au revoir. Mirror right there, all my clothes. Hey, Padiri, what are you doing? Yeah, this is the best decision I've ever made, thank you. Best decision I've ever made in my whole life. Bye. I'm going to be under here now. But I'm on top of my mattress. I'm in bed. Laying under my clothes. These are my favorite. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I've never been so happy in my life. Mm, my happiness. I'm perfectly content. I just love being in cozy little spaces. I have the opposite of claustrophobia. I like being little. And this is just, reminds me of being on the, the Amtrak and having a little room. I, l I sleep so well in there. I love, I love sleeping in a car or something that's moving. And I love being in a tiny space. I love it. This is, I'm in heaven right now. Oh my God. I'm just living in my clothes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy. It's so stupid. Child. I just slept like nine hours. Moving into my closet was the best decision I've ever made. Thank you.